structure into chemistry then we require a lot of arrows and other things okay substrate base has been covered but for getting arrows there are special shortcuts so for getting left arrow actually the shortcut is backslash left arrow for right arrow the shortcut is backslash right arrow i'll just type it for you uh, once i'll just type it type it once for you okay and i have to go inside the equation editor backslash left arrow and press space so this is how, how i get left arrow right arrow actually there is no more shortcut inside the equation editor you just type a minus sign and then this arrow okay so i'll just show you now backslash right arrow is a shortcut but you can just type this minus sign and this so this is for right arrows click lumen sign lrhr for typing this kind of arrow type 21 c4 and then press alt x this is not available as a match shortcut so you have to use unicode and for this you don't have to go inside equation later 21 c4 that's just for typing this well press alt x and it will convert into this kind of arrow this kind of shortcut is for unicode this type unicode this is unicode of that and for converting unicode number into actual symbol just have to press alt and x together for precipitation down arrow for gas liberation up arrow for writing above arrow actually you have to type see whatever you type you want to type above any character or below any character use this kind of shortcut x slash above and include whatever you want to type above some symbol include it inside this bracket okay i'll just give you a short demo for that alt equal to suppose i want to have a right arrow and i have to type above this arrow above and whatever i will type above this arrow maybe about this arrow you can press space bar this. okay similarly for typing below the arrow you can type you can use this keyword backslash below and type anything that you want to insert it below the arrow and if you want to type above and below the arrow you can use the combination of above keyword this is above above what i have to type n i with p and then press space then below and then t equal to thousand degree c okay this will come as below okay so this is how you can type now you can see that the text below is quite bigger than the text above so actually this arrow has to be a big one so what you can do is you can just type the first thing which is which is, which is bigger i'll just show it alt equal to this arrow now i know that the thing that i'm going to type below is will take more space lengthwise than the thing that i'm typing about so first include the thing which takes more space below t equal to thousand k and just put k and then above and now this is how you can just manipulate some something to get the desired output so here i included the, the bigger thing first and the smaller thing afterwards now there are a lot of things when you are typing chemicals okay and some of the chemicals are keep on repeating in your document like suppose i have to type a chemical formula of nitric acid hno3 so what i'll do is there is a shortcut way i can just insert an auto correct option or something that i use is quite often right so let us say i am typing this hno3 quite often so i'll just copy this i'll type it once okay alt equal to h and o and underscore 3 i'll copy it i'll copy it again i'll go to options proofing auto correct now it has i want to add this as formatted text i can make a shortcut h and o3 i can put only that i'll give h and o3 h and o3 okay this is already there i just this was not available in microsoft word i'll just replace it yes okay and whenever i type this shortcut h and o3 and press space it will just give that whatever i have set for that shortcut you can set uh, multiple things whatever you want in that pre-formatted text using this math auto correct so you can have as equations or something else also